we have to trek all the way up the mountain where there are dozens and dozens of dogs and crows. The Spiteful Crow. Notice how his wing is held up as if he were smoking a cigarette, which he was in the Japanese version. Yeah! Woohoo! One hit! How's that for spite? Cookie! Why did it have to be snakes? They're so boring. Hey, Ness! Oh, wait. Hey, Ness! I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man! Yes, you did a very manly job of hearing a child's voice. Oh, there he is, with his lack of eyes, which seems to be uh, inherent in this family. Okay. We made it. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Ah! Stupid dog with your zero-frame animation. Anyway, hey, this meteorite really is strange and mysterious. Ooh! Caution, there's still lots of fires burning here and there. It's hot. <laughs> and there's probably a, uh, well, anyway. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. See, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which of us is the real big brother. Piggy joins you. I wonder if his original name was Piggy. Well, there are still lots of little fires. Anyway. Ness, do you hear a buggy? You sound like a bee flying around. No, I don't. Yes, you can hear it. Oops, I meant to say no. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. I guess I need to get my hearing checked. Oh, there's, there's a bug on you. A bee I am. Not. <laughs> oh, this must be the 90s. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Okay. Gigas, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. Sanity's Requiem. However, you must listen. Where I am from, we eat pizza with ranch dressing. <laughs> there is a well-known legend. There is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. From where you are ten years in the future? Wait. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. <laughs> this, the, you got this off of a uh, Juice for Jesus pamphlet, didn't you? The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock. <laughs> that sounds rad. And will reveal the path of light. <laughs> well, you see, Rajneesh is the truth, which is life. And the life, which is light. Life's truth light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. This things I believe. Uh, Gigas's monstrous plan must have been set into motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and power. I mean, friendship! <laughs> Yes, friendship, effort, and victory. <laughs> the legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gigas. <laughs> I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes! Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I ex expected you to be. Oh, was that my qualification for going on this journey? Was good listening skills? Ba, 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 ba. Buzz Buzz now joins you. <laughs> Nuff. 
It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. <laughs> three boys, he said? Oh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. My heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. <laughs> but now, all the snakes and dogs know to leave us alone. Because nothing's going to mess with you when you've got a bee with you. Nothing can withstand this awesome might. Uh, except maybe a small Michelin man with a donut for a head? That's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gigas' plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. So wait, does that mean Buzz Buzz used to be like some badass barbarian that he he put his son from the body of a bee? Cool. I'll stop you hard. The Starman Jr. Yo, know, there are a lot of things in Nintendo games called Starman, but these I think these are my favorite. Okay, let's hit him. Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz is a real psionic badass, so he can just uh, cover us with a shield that prevents us from being hurt. Starman. Sci Fire! Whoa! Luckily, we've got really awesome psychic shields that make it disappear. Now, I'm very impressed by Picky. He's he can only do 1 HP each, but uh, he is uh, he is taking on whatever this creature is. Woo! Picky is chanting a magic spell. Uh sorry, wrong uh, game genre, Picky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got psychic shields and you don't. <laughs> and Porky has a nest shield. Boom, boo, doop, boom, boop. What do you think the Starman looks like? It's it's vaguely humanoid, right? But I don't know those those weird stretchy legs. Oh, and now he's dead. Doesn't matter what it looks like. We won. Nest gained sixteen experience. What? That guy was only as good as four dogs. Why didn't they just send four dogs? <laughs> uh, I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Anyway. Maybe I should take... Porky and Picky home. And here's... Oh my... Oh! His parents! Hello, Lardna. Yes, her name is actually Lardna. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Whoa. What was that noise? What'd you do to them? Did you put them through a meat grinder or something? By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. Whoa! You jerk! We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. What? Really? Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. <laughs> Why did you give us a hundred thousand dollars? And now you want us to go away? What? So you so you will never get your investment back? My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Oh god Buzz Buzz, don't sit on her head. Hey! I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smack your guts out! Wow. 
You know, I just like to think that, you know, some few years later, she'd be like flipping through an entomology book and be like, Oh, that was a dog beetle? Wow, what was I thinking of? Oh. You smushed Buzz Buzz. <coughs> I was much weaker than I thought. <coughs> so you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Make seven up yours. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. Sanctuary! One of them is near Onit. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. <laughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight Yule Sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. It's totally boss. By the way, I'm almost gone. But you want to hear this story one more time? No! Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah. Ah. I'm going to grill these. <laughs> You killed my friend. Watch your back, Minch family. Watch your back. Into our house to get to my cat. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius for a new series of myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. If you're new to Earthbound, yeah, that guy shows up again. <laughs> Own it, Public Library. Use the library more. <laughs> Message from the Hungry Reader. Use the library more. Ooh, who are you? Why are you hiding behind a bush? A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Uh, you can borrow everything for nothing at the library. That's how a library... Ugh, well, whatever. All right. Hey, grumpy old man. A giant step. There's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna sidle away slowly. No one knows when the monster made giant step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. <laughs> um, I'd like to meet your wife. Let's find out. Yet, but I wanted to introduce you guys to Rafini. So, by now you've heard about the sharks. Who are the sharks? These are the sharks! Thankfully, we don't have to deal with the jets in this game. Sharks are the lo local street toughs who dress in form-fitting skeleton costumes. Uh, and they constantly call more of each other to fight. And you're gonna get your butt kicked because they constantly come after you. Oh... Uh. Oh, man. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. Yay, good. Hey, are you a shark? What? You wanna meet our boss, Frank? He's in the back here of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might wanna visit him. I don't know why I sound like Tom Waits. <laughs> well, let's go to the bakery first. I wanted to tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup! But I won't, because I don't want to bother you with a story that has nothing to do with your adventure. 
If I keep talking about unrelated stuff, you might start ignoring important messages. It's important for you to talk to people. Also, a person might give you a different message depending on when you speak to them. Well, I want to hear about the creature from the vegetable soup! Is, is this is this like Crotee Robots Earth vs. Soup? I like cottage cheese on bread! You haven't tried it? It's the latest craze in culinary circles. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Now we are prepared to fight Frank. Hi, where are you? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. <laughs> oh, do you hear the sound of Xevious in the background? <laughs> nice little uh, homage to Namco there. Also, here's Donkey Kong. Although, all of these games seem to be called Statler. Oh! Hey, kid! Wanna be a member? Wanna be a member? No! Don't be such a snob. Uh. Uh. Prepare the l moon star of limbo, yes man. <laughs> if you get that joke, you're pretty old. Let's go meet Frank. Hi, Frank. Uh, I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Boss time! Yeah, this this looks like the kind of guy who's really into uh, Johnny B. Good, doesn't it? Anyway, let's fight him. Frank says something nasty and my guts went down. And then I hit him. <laughs> yeah. Just keep doing that. Just keep saying something nasty. I appreciate that. Whoa! Okay. Oh. I guess my guts are... Yep. I have no more guts. Frank became tame! Oh. What does that mean in the context of a person? Does that mean that I get to lead him around on a leash right now? <laughs> Frank, your new male slave! Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> and this is Frankie Stein Mark II! Right, right. This punk that hangs out behind the arcade has a giant wooden mecha? See, this is... Remember, this is what Japan thinks of us. Frankie Stein Mark II. Frankie Stein Mark II generated a burst of steam. Yeah, this is an important thing to remember, is that Frankie Stein wastes every other turn. I love this uh, music that sounds like... Uh, like, a, like a beat poet should be reciting his... Something about man's inhumanity to man over it. Whoa! He tore into me. I better have another hamburger. All right. Hit! 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 Yeah! Haha! <laughs> I broke your barrel bot. Yeah! This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure, Frank. Dude, all I did was beat you up because you attacked me. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Yeah, stop trying to sound mysterious, Frank. Just, just cough it up. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get the giant step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to giant step is behind the touring entertainer's shack. Oh, uh, I hadn't shown you the uh, touring entertainer's shack. It's not that interesting, but... Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Why is everyone getting so hot for me? It's really creepy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, if I go back to him... You look much stronger. Oh, God. Would you like the rest? What do, where do I rest? Does he have, like, a hammock set up here or something? Anyway. Yeah. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Oh, is he now? Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> what? What were you kidding? <laughs> hey! Hi, Mayor P.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies. Punched them with the big time. Kicked their butts. Bit their heads off. Spit in their eyes and made them with their pants. What is with all this pants wedding talk in this building? Well, you forced them to promise to make, not make any more trouble. Did I? Thank you. Well, you want a key to the touring entertainer's shack? Oh, this is getting untoward. If someone as great as you giving you the tea can key the tea. Yes, have a have a spot of tea with BH Perkle. Giving you the key can help keep the town peaceful. However, if you can encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yeah. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Oh, BH. First of all, we have these cute little mice with their big red noses. I imagine they probably... They probably talk like Dicey Fields. Rowdy Mouse! Rowdy Mouse! And the Rowdy Mouse uses a biting attack that is not very helpful. Whoa! Except when he gets a smash on me. See, the deal with the Rowdy Mouse is that he has a lot of guts. I joke about guts, but what guts actually does is it determines how often you get a uh, you get a smash attack. Smash! And this guy has high, high guts. Look how much damage he's doing to me. Okay, what should I do? I've got two of these guys. Should I? Oh, should I waste a Psy Mother on them, or should I just? See if I can take care of them on my own. No, and I'll see if I can do it on my own. Oh, see? Calling for help. Good thing, too. Yeah. No one came. No one cares for you, Black Antoid C. They never did. This is... This. Someone left some ropes here. And here's... Um... An asterisk. But if I talk to the asterisk... You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. It's boss time. Titanic Ant. Well, I don't remember this guy from the animated Titanic. Anyway, it's time to show off Mother. Now, this is the... This is your main psionic attack, and it's named after whatever your favorite thing is. So, for a lot of people, it's Psy Rockin', or, like I said, in Japanese, it would be Psy Kiai. But I call it Psy Mother. So I can say, Your Mother! Yeah! I'll have a hamburger, just in case. Yeah, probably a good idea. Give him another... Oh, drink PP from me. Oh, now I can't do any more mothers. Oh well, I'll just hit him! And I'll just keep hitting him. Whoa! That wasn't cool. Need another hamburger. Man, this guy is tougher than I remember. At least I have enough left for another life up. Yay! 
Hey! He became tame! Hey, Mom, he followed me home. Can I keep him? Ooh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Offense up, defense up, speed up, vitality up, IQ up. Oh, I got smarter from beating up an ant. Maximum HP up by 12. PP. Yeah. Well. Welcome to your sanctuary. And just thinking about a big foot is, you know, it's so relaxing, right? Oh. Ness suddenly had a religious experience. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. It jumping up and down in this big footprint? Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Now, you didn't forget about the soundstone, right? That was the thing that Buzz Buzz came to give to me in the first place. And it recorded the melody. Now, if you're holding the soundstone, which you should be at all times, you can use it at any time and get this. Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. Do, 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 do. Uh... Boom, boom, boom. Now, that's actually the point of this whole game. Well, for the point of, I guess, the first half of the game is to gather the eight parts of the soundstone and put together a song. Now, that's actually what you were doing in Mother 1 as well. In, or I should call it Earthbound Begins. That's what it's called now. You get so far away from your mom who is trying her best to... Uh, Continue on with her life in your absence, even though your her husband is never there. Whoop. Ness. 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 I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I'm Paula. Well, that was odd. Go to the police station. Hi, cops. Oh, hi, Marcy. I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Out of my steam. Don't even try talking to me. Yeah. Well, they sound like normal cops to me. So here you are. Your little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that. Furthermore, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, it's usually those tax evaders, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, we don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know, blah 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 blah, it's usually local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites, blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah, body cameras, blah 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 blah. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be. What's he say? What does he say here? Finish the quote. Playing Nintendo games! That's right! What, you didn't think he was going to be saying something else, did you? Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Okay, follow me. <laughs> okay, chortle, follow me. <laughs> Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. <laughs> you know, you know, we complain about the cops today, but you know, at least they don't make you. They don't. You don't have to participate in a rumble to move on to the next town. <laughs> it's cop time. Hey, right, small fry! You must be shaking in your boots. Small fry hanging around the pool room. <laughs> These cops are all posed like Mega Man jumping. <laughs> cop is attacking. Yeah! And the cop turned back to normal? <laughs> well, being a normal cop is not that great anyway. They're tough. They should join the police force. 
Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. <laughs> what about superheroes who are policemen? You ever think of that? Oh, you won. <laughs> you don't have anything clever to say? Didn't get the mayor's compliment to give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Fat? Oh, you are dead. Won't you tell me once again who's fat? Let's do this again sometime. Next time I'll take you with my nuclear suplex attack. Um, <laughs> yeah. Come on, he's gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. And it's just the same cop over and over again. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Girl, I lost. <laughs> Darn. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. Uh, there's no way I could beat you in a strike competition, so get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. M mambo tango foxtrot MTF. What does that stand for? Mother fa Oh, no way. Captain Strong. Okay. Hi, Captain Strong. I'm... Captain Psionic. Have a mother. Boom! 97. And a life up. Oh! Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> now, in case you haven't noticed, look at how the life meter is rolling up and down. That saves your life a lot of times. In this game, you don't take all of your damage at once. You kind of bleed. So. Give him another... Your mother! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> and Captain not so strong now. I don't think you do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on a second, I'll radio my staff and give them the word. <laughs> strong, who do you read me? Hey! It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, well, listen, a kid named Nelson will be in there a few minutes. He's a kid in the red cap. Yeah, I want you to open the door road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. It's an order, strung out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Hi, oh, aren't you, Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out of the library. I know that. Let's use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Uh, anyway. So this is a kind of an interesting way to lay out a city where there's no streets between the cities and the only way to get from one town to the next is by dirt road. I guess that's what they mean when they say you can't get there from here. Okay, this is interesting. First of all, it's got the weird, awkward music. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. <laughs> the mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind, and boy, are they fast. I really love these guys. Do you love them because they let you live in their home, or uh, because they're fast? Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse. B but what, he's really big? But he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's just a teleport out of a maze. Okay. Now, if you live in Tucson, <laughs> do you feel a certain affinity for the people of Tucson in Earthbound? Oh. Wow. I walked for so long it became autumn. Here's another mole. And he's going to yell at me for resetting my game, isn't he? Tucson Town! Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There's the Pole Star Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting! East of the town, you find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, tee -hee, I don't know anything else. Huh. How helpful. 
Tucson, we got this name because we weren't first. <laughs> Here's the cycle shop. <laughs> this is the cycle shop punk show. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. Oh great, I'm trying to do a Cockney voice, but it's coming out as uh, Crocodile Dundee. Oi! It's a lot faster than walking. It'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Oh, unfortunately, we don't got any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want a rent one? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free! Oi, mate! You know, two people can't ride on one bicycle. Well, give me a bicycle built for two. So, of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Justin knows you can't ride a bike with anything fooling you. Teddy bears, for example. <laughs> Teddy bears? Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. I don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. You can't stop me. There. Well, let's try out my new toy. Woo! Woo do 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 Tucson! You know well, let's get off the bike. Let's visit Berglund Park. Berglund Park seems kinda dangerous with some great stuff there. One of the biggest markets you'll ever find now in Berglund Park. Now there are a couple of very useful things I can buy here. You know, there are some people who don't do this, but I am definitely going to do it. I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of buying selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. Oh, I don't have the money. I'll bet you'll regret not buying it. I think that my grandchild is older than you. He is a famous inventor. He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. <laughs> but his real name is Ben Grimm. <laughs> he seems to be popular with the girls because he's Groovy? Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Uh, you know, no I don't. At least not yet. The kind of thing that... Whoa. What are you? You meet the cranky lady! <laughs> you meet Grimace in drag! Daddy Ronald! Yeah! Well, let's see, what can I sell? What do I have that I want to get rid of? The cold remedy. I never use the cold re the remedies. I just uh, use healing, so for sale, fine. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fresh as I could. I'll plump tuck it out. What you got for sale? Cold remedy. Cold remedy? I'm gonna be $11. Now, is that for a fair offer? Hey, Shunny, you certainly made it worth my will to come all this way. Everdread has always watched over Berglin Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. That's also why the cops try to attack me with a couple of stray dogs by their side, right? So who is this Mr. Everdread? Now th actually, this is Everdread, and if I get too close, he'll just jump down and attack me kind of at random. But you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> why don't we chat later? After we've locked horns! Alright. <laughs> he looks... Who does he look like? He looks like... He looks like Jimmy Carl Black from the Mothers of Invention. <laughs> Let's hit him with a mother. Boom! Ooh. This kind of... Uh, we both wasted a turn there. <laughs> he bit me? Maybe he is Wario. Yeah! Yeah! He turned back to a normal crime boss. 986 experience. Nice! Okay, I guess I'm glad I did that. Yes, I'm Everdred, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah. I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. Chubby boy and a weird kid and a guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said they were going to make Paula some kind of human sacrifice. Whoa! They were definitely hardcore strange. 
You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay. So I should probably go and talk to Paula's parents about her. They're right down here. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left and I don't know where she went. Yeah, run away, run away dogs. And there's a cat on the roof. One of like only two or three cats in the whole game. When I go up, I want to be just like Paula. Eleven. <laughs> well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Hey, you're the one who gave you the Mr. Baseball cap. Paula is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emo emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Freak. Whistle, whistle, anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Uh, yeah. You know, your wife seems to be in terrible denial about your daughter being kidnapped by a cult. So, you want to see Paula? <laughs> Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches! So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So, you're Ness? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ness immediately went, oh, I'm Ness. <laughs> you're the one that was in Paula's dream. Uh, I wonder if that's why uh, she got kidnapped by uh, Pokey, because he was like, oh, I'll, I'll, Ness, Paul will only meet with someone named Ness, and Pokey was like, oh, I'm Ness. You'll save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Oh, I guess the wife was not the only one who was in denial. Oh, where did she go? I'm sorry, could you come back for a while? Oh, it's your... Yeah, he does have a mustache, doesn't he? Okay, I was... I wasn't sure if he had a mustache or if he just had a really deep, wide nose. Ooh, to order pizza. And this does come up. I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, I don't know. Unless the ghosts are like... Having some sort of protest. Uh, listen to these two girls here. That stupid slob, the apple cat, always asked me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should find, invent some food for himself. <laughs> yeah, invent some food. <laughs> I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredible hot orange kid. And they live right next door to each other with their own respective fruit signs. Tucson is different from that. We have Berglund Park. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I'm going to go talk to Apple Kid. You can also talk to Orange Kid, but I don't really have any money for him. Yeah, you need money. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a peg style, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I have taken a bath in quite a while, so I... Maybe kind of stinky. <laughs> By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? Can I have some? How about a hamburger? Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. I could really use $200. Oh, I don't have the money. <laughs> oh, I can't flop down there. Hi, I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. How about Leslie? How about that, huh? Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you'd like to invest some money in my investments? Sure. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you! By the way, I could really use $200. Sure. Thank you, I won't let you down. What's in your garbage? I'm gonna rummage through your trash. Well, let's see here. There's a broken machine inside. Ness takes it. Oh, there we go. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Yes, I did. Your name is Leslie. Everyone remember that. The mouse's name is Leslie. 
You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. What? What is it? Ness got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. <laughs> now, orange kid. Boyle. A little uh, less slovenly, isn't he? Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Oh, goody! Would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? Thank you very much. Your support should have a tremendous impact on all mankind. Let me give you my new Super Orange Machine. I got it. Superma for short. Okay. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Okay, we've... This has gone on for long enough. So, I will leave you now with a demonstration of the amazing powers of the Super Orange Machine. The Superma sang the song, Ode to Orange Kid. Orange, 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 orange kid, 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 kid. Orange, 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 orange kid. As soon as it finished, the machine broke down. Yeah. Hi everyone, Hungry Reader here, and as you can see, I am waiting in line at the legendary Chaos Theater to see The Runaway Five, whom you might notice bear a certain resemblance to a certain other pair of famous uh, plumbers. Tonight, the boogie is back! It's the Runaway Five's night! If I had some connections, I could have waltzed right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. <laughs> oh, here they are. Why don't you guys just go talk to them? Hi, Runaway Two? We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl lives at the house of the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. <laughs> Nothing, I guess. Guess I lost my tickets and now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. So I can't go and get a ticket, huh? You want to see Poochie Fud, the manager? Or Poochie Food? <laughs> right through the store, please. So I get word that you've been cheating these guys, huh? I know a five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> Are you related to Pokey? What a jerk. I read some billboards. Are you happy now? Happy, happy religious group. Yes. Now it's time to go and meet the happy happiests. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. Oh, hello. Humpty Dum Dum Dum! I'm hunting for mushrooms! I'm gonna collect a ton! Yeah, those are Amanitas. Those are very poisonous. But anyway. Anyway, here in Peaceful Rest Valley. What? Oh, there's no getting over here. Cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. Okay. Is there anywhere else to, I can go? Boy. Uh. For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path. A pencil? A pencil? Never heard of such a thing! Oh! Oh, my dad is probably reminding me that I've been playing too long. Hello! This is the Apple Kid! Oh, okay. I just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. Beep. <laughs> People don't say goodbye in this world. They say slam beep. <gasps> butterfly. I'm chasing that elusive butterfly of magic. Uh, relax. Oh, my oh, nice mushroom. Whoa. You encounter the Ramblin' Evil Mushroom. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lord, I was born a rambling evil mushroom. Oh no. Rambling even mushrooms are one of the worst bad guys you can fight. And I will show you why soon. Because they make you feel funky. And when you feel funky... This is what happens. You go walking around with a mushroom on your head like you were Kid Icarus having been turned into a uh, eggplant. Did I say Kid Icarus? I'm sorry, I mean Pit. Sorry, I grew up in the 80s. And almost completely at random. Oh, come here, butterfly. Butterfly, help me. Yes. Hey, that'll probably make it a lot better. Yes. If I keep going. It means I have to go all the way to the hospital to have somebody take this mushroom off my head. Ah, see what I'm doing here? I'm pressing up. And if I press down, I go this way. That is what the mushroom does to you. It changes it changes the controls on your pad, so you have to rotate the pad. So now so now left is up and down is left. But this guy is the healer. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated to the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Uh, sure. That's the nice thing about the mushrooms. At least you get paid for them. <laughs> oh, hi, orange kid. Want to pay me back for your soup warma? Are you looking for that so-called genius apple kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglin Park looking for you. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, there he is. Hello. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser is ready. You know, those have already been invented. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful, just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. <laughs> you know, I think that joke would have worked out better if it was like, don't use it in school. Magic butterfly? It will... It will reset the mushroom's uh, spell for what it's worth. Humpty Dumpty Dum, I'm counting for mushrooms. I, hey, would you be willing to send me that mushroom on your head for 50 bucks? Yeah. Such a great mushroom. Happy I got it. I wonder if she's just... I wonder if... Hey, maybe she's that healer's daughter or something. Whoa! Monster time! You confront the Mobile Sprout and its cohort. Well, Mobile Sprout and Little UFO. Okay. Mobile Sprout, you kind of want to take it out first because it can do the same thing as the... as the uh, Black Antoids and... Sharks, and it can call more friends. Like that! Oh boy, maybe I should use a Psy Blast on them. Yeah! Okay. You're dead. You're dead. You're not dead yet. Oh! Trying to keep me from... Oh, Lord! Life up! Okay, good. Got a beam that causes nighttime stuffiness. All right, pencil eraser. Let's use the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. You see, it erases. Oh, did you see that red flash? That was a sneeze. All right, so I will use my healing and get over my cold. God, don't we all wish that we had that? This monster is a new one. A spinning robo! Now, this is the kind of thing that you expect to see in a nice bucolic valley setting, isn't it? <laughs> Look at its weird arms. It's like a broken bridge. Oh, maybe this is what broke the bridge. This thing that looks like a broken bridge. Boy, this thing has high armor. Oh, it had a shield on. No wonder. Oh, a cold again? Yeah, okay. Look at my s little sniffly nose. That's great. Ooh. So, everyone who likes 
Lavender Town and other such creepy villages? Welcome to Happy Happy Village. Everyone's very happy. Look how happy they are. Look how happy this girl is. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Okay. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. What, like Big Step? Oh. People call that place Lilliput Steps, and it makes them feel uneasy. <laughs> right. I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. <laughs> There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't even go near that place. Hello. You want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy, you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Whoa. Whoa. This place has some problems. Mr. Carpenter communicates with the divine, so he's able to deliver inspired messages. Uh-huh. I'm not sure. Ding! Friends and valley behind three. Ding, ding! <laughs> if you haven't played Earthbound yet, you'll find more, more about that later. And Meager Living Farm lodgings available. Okay, so that's this is the inn for this area. Hello, shy guy. Psst, 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 psst. That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paula. You know she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Uh, oh, no, I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know I was joking. <laughs> Just forget about all this. Yep. So. You're the guy dressed in blue they were talking about. Well, I guess they're all the guy dressed in blue. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for $50. Very well, be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Alright, blue blue. Ness. I, I, Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help. Come and help me. I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. I know where you are. You're in that cabin I passed by on the way here. But if I go into this cave... They're waiting for me. The insane cultist. Yeah, that's about right. And he attacks with paint. Oh, you're gonna make me feel blue. Ha ha ha. Hey. There you are. Who? Are you Ness? You look a lot fatter in real life. I mean, Ness! It's so I'm glad it's you! I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I thought it was because I stayed up all night watching movies about Loch Ness, but... I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. <laughs> Wait. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. So, the fact that it was hard to believe was the... <laughs> the clincher for you, huh? If you didn't have come, I would have had to try to bust out of here! <laughs> you can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. I wonder if his name was Carpenter to start with, or if it's just Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? What, do you want to get frightened by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Okay, the Franklin badge. One of the most useful items in the whole game. Oh boy. What can I get rid of? Alright. Blah, blah. Franklin badge. Yes. The Franklin badge is one of the items that appears in all three of the mother games, and true to its name, it reflects lightning. Well, what? Whoa! Hello! Hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in happy happyism, <laughs> you should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Near potato. 
the insane cultist in its cohorts, and a crow that just joined in because it likes being included. There. <sighs> you know, how often is it that you get cornered by three basically clan members and the worst part of it is that there's a crow flying around? Oh good, got my psych caramel back. Nice. Pokey! You get back here, you bad neighbor! But this is where I want to be. Ah! Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great carp Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. Actually, I just wanted this present. A croissant! Yeah. But if I go this way... Blue, blue. What? I'm blocking you? Okay, I'll move out of your way. <laughs> Problem here? Blue, blue. I say, arm the torpedoes full speed ahead! Or something like that. So now they'll crush you! Oh. 153 experience. I might actually level up again before I see Carpenter. Blue, blue. Don't bother us, we're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. All right. Blue, blue. What? Are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? <laughs> green, green. Oh, that's not it. I mean, still new at this. <laughs> if I walk around here. I talk to this guy. Blue, blue. Hey, you, anti-blue boy. You're getting on my nerves. What about this guy? Oh. Oh. Okay. I went the wrong way again. Blue, blue. I try to learn how to whistle. <laughs> I heard that whistling makes one smile. Uh, well, you must know my... You must know Paula's mother. <laughs> blue, blue. You a strange, unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven! <laughs> Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Once again, the SNES is choking on the sheer number of guys with Hershey's kiss heads in this picture. Actually, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the ninjas from the, the original The Tick comic books. <laughs> oh. And you know what this guy looks like? He looks like just like the guy that Grover was always waiting on in the Sesame Street waiter sketch. <laughs> waiter, where's my alphabet soup? Ah! I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Well, you sure have an easy job. Just sit there and scream. Oh. What is that? Why do you have it? Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistant to help make the world blue and change it to a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding! Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Carpentry's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. And that's why I need the Franklin badge before I come in here. Because that would be a game over without even entering the fight. Mr. Carpainter, who... Uh, what is... What's up with the top of his head? Is he wearing a dish on his head, or is that a yarmulke? <laughs> or... Also, if you cover up the top half of his head, he literally looks a lot like, uh... Like Colonel Sanders. Oh. Anyway, I will use a life up on myself. Crashing boom bang! Yeah, one of the nice things about fighting Mr. Carpenter is that since he mostly attacks with lightning, you can just let the you can let the Franklin badge win the battle for you. Oh, but he has life up too. Do another crashing boom bang, yeah! Yeah! Now he turned back to a regular old electrocuted dead guy. <laughs> yeah! Level, 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 go up. 
Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can, I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize for everyone, here's the key to go open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held! Take the key, go! Hi guys. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. Woke up, huh? There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay, you'll get out of here. Boy, none of you had any faith in this religion, did you? Sorry about everything, let's be buddies. And now here we are, finally. Goods. Key to the cabin. Key to the kingdom. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. Stripy shirt, weird backpack. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me, but screw them. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. Or I could do it on my own like I did last time. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Let's head back to Tucson.